Hello, it's Sarah, and I just have a quick project share. I was watching YouTube videos and came across a Lawn Fawn video, and it was by Char, I think her name is, or Shari, um, how to make an altered mini notebook. And I've, I've altered mini notebooks before, not very many here. I have, um, these are just like, I like these, and I went to Staples tonight, and they did not have any of them, the little marble notebooks. So I got to try Target tomorrow because I ran out. But I had altered these with some of the um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden paper that I had. Because I had, I think I printed it too small for the, like what it was supposed to be for. So I covered these with it. And um, so I had done it. But then um, Shari's was using the stamps. And I just, I felt like playing. I felt, I hadn't stamped in a while. So I did one. Um, it's... Critters in the Burbs, I think. I took stamps from a couple different ones. Um, like, I think the B might be from this, the B Mine one. I just I just took stamps from all, all the stamp sets I had, pretty much, that were, um, you know, I didn't do any Christmas ones, but I think it turned out pretty cute. This is a little doggy one. Um, I stickled the clouds, like, and then as I go along, I really get the hang of it and kind of get a feel for it. I paper pieced it. Um, I used lots of different six by six pads um, that I have here just in my stash. Anything that had like a blue background and a green for the grass, you know, stuff like that. I used my Copic. So my Copic coloring is not great. I do my best. I mean, I painted for years, so I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but um, I don't have a ton of colors, so, you know, my blending isn't the greatest either, but I think it looks cute. And then I put the stitches around the edges to kind of finish it off. I put stickles. This is actually washi tape. Um, the Lawn Fawn video shows her covering the binding with washi tape, and I hadn't done that before, so I thought, okay, I'll try that. This one I did with Gnome Sweet Gnome, um, and just the, like this little squirrel is from I think Critters in the Park or I don't even know what it's called this one it's from Critters in the in the Burbs but um I mean I did I don't love it as much because I don't like the background paper as much like the polka dots are just too you know I don't know they're not um subtle enough I think they're too bold and I mean I kind of like the flowers underneath for the hill and then um, I had this little uh, Fisker's grass punch, so I tried that on this one. And I put the log on there with the snail and the bees and stuff. So, I mean, it's cute. I didn't cover the binding on this one, so that's... And this is one of the, like, cheaper ones, and I don't know where this came from because I covered them all up now. Um, but it might have even been the dollar store, but there's definitely a difference in quality. One's thinner, one's thicker, one has a little bit better construction. So, I mean, I think they're like three for a dollar, so you can't really be too picky. But um, this isn't one of my favorites. I'll show you. I'm going to get to my favorites here. Then I did this one. My granddaughter was making them with me, so she probably got my other good one that I liked the binding of. But this one turned out really cute. I had this red washi tape, and I hadn't used it, and I just figured, let me put that on there. So I just started going, and this is actually a, um, what is that, greeting farm. It's a greeting farm stamp set. I think I put it away. No, here it is, greeting farm. It's a clear one, and it's called Fairy Princess. But it has these fairies in it. Fairy dust in a, is a must. The mushrooms and stuff, so, um, I put her on there, and I put the frog, like, he's from ever after happily ever after or something stamp set that's a lawn fawn set this one critters ever after sorry about the glare but anyway so i just pulled and picked and choose and whatever stamps i love the dragonfly because they're like so mystical but this one's cute so this one i really liked and i put stickles down the binding and i stickled their their wings and just a few things i think i put uh, glossy accents on a few things. I used my um, gel pens for like a few things, the crown, stuff like that. So I really like that one. And then I did a blue one in that. So I had this other washi tape. This is like a chevron. And I'm into that blue lately. So I just changed the color of the bird and I actually did 
the front of this one like the back of that one. Just changed it a little bit. I put a dragonfly on there. And then this is the back of this one. It's the front of this one. So, but pretty similar. This background is a little bit too light. Like I wish it was a little darker and then the um, clouds would have showed up. And the clouds, I just used, um, Char stamps out her clouds, but I didn't really uh, feel like fussy cutting them. You know what? I'm thinking about getting some of the dies for the um, lawn fawn um, stamps because a lot of the stuff is tiny that I was cutting. So those dies would probably come in really handy, but I happen to have the Fiskars cloud punch. So I just used that like on this one you can really see. So this is the, my this was my last big notebook. So I just used this one and I did um, Critters Ever After, I guess it's called. Um, yeah. So I did the castle, but see how the clouds are, I mean, they're perfect for like doing something like this. And I think this background was like from my Once Upon a Time stack. I just, and it had like little like stars on there already. So I put stickles on that. And I, I wish I would have had a little bit more of a a difference in the color here. The green's a little too close to the background green, but it's still cute. And I put stickles down the edge, and then the back I put the dragon. And the little frog with the crown, just so cute. So yeah, they're they're cute and they're fun. So, but yeah, cutting out all these little items, like the dragonfly, like I don't even know if there's a die for that. <clears throat> I know a lot of the sets are having, um, the dies now so um i guess it would be it w would be worth it if especially if you're going to be doing a lot of this type of stuff um but i just played today with these um i have i did just get a couple tim holtz dies so i think i have a project in mind that i'm going to use for artful dwellings um and i also got the uh rickety house i mean you guys have probably had all these i'm just a little bit behind in my dies but um i had i knew i had these um composition books and i saw that video and thought oh, i'm gonna use them i'm gonna do it so it was fun so that's all i have today thanks for watching